It swings and drives it. Way back. Pike gets destroyed by Ramel Pratt. Shot, drop, step, turn around. Jumper to Scott Scott. Throws it down with a left hand slam. Kept alive by Lannister, tips it ahead to Farrakhan. He's going to throw it down with a one-hand jam! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, the Virginia Lottery, and by UVA Health Systems. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly... Swing them, swing them, swing them! Post... Here's KT Harrell around a curl. His the jump shot is up and good. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Sammy Zaglinski, number 13 on the men's basketball team. This is our first show of 2011, and I'm happy to tell you that's full of basketball. So let's get started with the play of the week. Here's a three-pointer from Farrakhan on the near lane right. Now dribbles between the legs, feeds to Evans, off to Farrakhan, three-pointer, got it! It was fun, uh, after I hit three, four, five, and I was like, you know, I'm shooting the ball pretty well out there, so and it was a great feeling uh, seeing the ball go through the basket like that. Uh, you know, I've been putting in the work in the gym, and uh, I was just happy to see that, that uh, it paid off a little bit. Stay tuned, Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Got to get rid of it. Comes over to Evans. Three seconds to shoot. Chantel fires one up from long range, and he rattles it home. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to the show. Our men's basketball team has three big games in the John Paul Jones Arena this week. Let's check out the game stories. Opportunities to play, so we're going to see a lot from these freshmen. Chantel Evans snipes his way down the lane, feeds out to an open KT Harrell, and he bangs it home with his foot on the three-point line. So the Hoos get another good-looking shot there out of the offensive set. Chantel draws the defense in, sets up his teammate. Virginia leads by two. Evans slings the pass to the elbow where Cheryl has it, passes out to Harrell, gets a good look at a three-pointer. That ball off the front side of the iron, and it rolls right over and in. Here's the pass out to Cheryl. Cheryl has it at the free throw line, drives down the lane, passes off to Mitchell, backs it out to Harris. He fires it up for three, and he cans it. Joe Harris is true for the second time tonight for the bonus here. I just keep telling the guys, you, you just take the right shots, and if they're rhythm shots, take them and, you know, concentrate on them and, and have a short memory. If you make it or miss it, just, just go with it. So I, I just want us to keep taking the quality shots, but I think it, as a shooter, uh, there's no question when you make one or two, all of a sudden it gets you going. He's trying to do a lot with the ball. He doesn't understand who he has to offer. John Tell Evans attacks up Stringer, and he gets by and lays it in off the window. So John Tell Evans puts Virginia ahead by four. We've got to attack the paint when the opportunities present themselves and trying to open up the lane. And, um, you know, they kept their composure for the most part against the zone, but John Tell made a difference, and he finished. He's been working hard on his finishing. But Woodwill sent it off to Stringer now. Stringer's out of lane. He passes it near wing right to Dotson. He drives baseline and a nice shovel pass to White, who stuffs it down. And LSU has its first lead of the ball game. Mustafa Farrakhan hands it off to Har Harrell. Harrell puts a jump step on him. The lane floats it high off the window and good with a foul. A chance at a three-point play. And KT Harrell taking matters into his own hands. John Tell Evans feeds out to Farrakhan, flicks the wrist from three, and he drops it from the near side. He's our one senior, or our, you know, our, actually, our, yeah, our one senior on the perimeter who's been in some situations, so I just kept saying, lead us, lead us. You've got to be at least steady and talking to these guys, and he calmed us down and made some better decisions in the second half, and moves an aggressive, by, aggressive player by nature, and um, you can't take that away, but always, I just say, you know, make solid decisions uh, after you're taken into the lane. Shot clock moving toward 10 seconds. Stringer has it on the near wing right. Defended by Evans. Goes by him. Now he takes it on the lane. Had a ball tipped away from behind. Picked up by Farrakhan. Mustafa's going the other direction. Passes ahead to Mitchell. And Mitchell will lay it in up close. Virginia in transition has stretched it to a 10-point lead again. A 
52-44, Virginia with the lead in the ball. Farrakhan passes out to Cheryl. Fires up a three-pointer. Got it! Will Cheryl drains it from the far corner, and it's an 11-point lead. Leading 55-47, John Tell Evans feeds to Cheryl near corner left. He tries to answer, and he'll rattle through a three-pointer on the other side. Touche from the senior. We needed those, and you know that's what Will gives us a threat from from outside, and that's why when we were without Will and Mike, it was was challenging, and still is. I hope it helps. We just keep preparing. And um, when I say don't try, to, don't get too high, don't get too low. Just just keep plugging in and knowing that we've got to be ready against everybody we play. Here's an open look for KT Harrell. He fires away and knocks it down from the near wing right. The guardman Joe Harris able to. Here's a three pointer and Joe Harris buries it from the near side right. That could be just what he needs to get going. Joe Gaze, it means he's getting them up, so he's definitely a confident shooter. Harris will try to answer on the other side and he does. Knock him down the three pointer from the near side right. When you're shooting that well against the zone, that's hard on the zone. And then when they had to go man, that wasn't what they were used to doing. But, uh, but I think they are getting a little more comfortable with each other. But I know obviously the competition steps up. Both teams are feeling it. Here's a pass to Zaglinski. Zaglinski flicks the wrist. Three-pointer rattles home from the top of the arc. And of course, they got 37 points of it. And here's a turnover as John Tell Evans comes from behind on Collins and steals it away. Moves it quickly to Farrakhan. And he pump fakes, takes it inside the arc. Cross-court feed over to Zaglinski. Fakes a pass one way. Now dribbles between the legs. Feeds to Evans. Hop to Farrakhan. Three-pointer. Got it. Another three-point bomb. And nobody's missing tonight here in the John Paul Jones Arena. But Howard's also getting it done on the inside. Here's a cross court feed to Farrakhan. He lets it fly from three and buries it. It's Mitchell along with Harris who will let a three pointer fly and he connects again. Harris three uh, pass over to Mitchell. Mitchell passes to Farrakhan and Farrakhan drains another one. It is raining three pointers. It was fun. Uh, after I hit three, four, five, and I was like, you know. I'm shooting the ball pretty well out there, so then we just hit the another one, six, seven. I'm like, you know, wow, you know, let me just, you know, not get too anxious out there and just, just keep shooting it. And then when it was a great feeling, uh, seeing the ball go through the basket like that, uh, you know, I've been putting in the work in the gym, and uh, I was just happy to see that that uh, paid off a little bit. Mustafa drills his sixth three-pointer of the ball game, and Virginia leads 54 to 40. Out to Farrakhan, Farrakhan on the far wing right. Mustafa gives to Zaglinski. He shovels the pass to Harrell. Harrell takes it inside the paint. Now passes out Farrakhan from three. Count it! Oh, Mustafa cannot miss. He is perfect from the floor. But it's still in the game. Here is another three-pointer. Farrakhan unloads and he hits another. Eight three-pointers, a JPJ record for a Cavalier. 11 from the floor. Here's a three-pointer from Joe Harris, and he'll catch him from the near wing left. It's spreading like wildfire. Joe really certainly shot the ball well, and again, I think it was a result of feet set, rhythm shots, and um, you know, Joe's got a quick release. It's a sign sent, feeding out. Zaglinski fires up from three, and he hits another one. 16 three-pointers. That's two away from a school record. Kind of be nice if we're really cold, if, you know, maybe one guy would be hot and the other, they all decided to come tonight, which is okay, but maybe they are, they're a group and they're, they're unified. When they're cold, they're cold. <laughs> when they're hot, they're hot. But uh, hopefully we can change that. set things up here. Here's a pull-up jumper. Henson shows the range as he hits one just inside the arc. And here comes Farrakhan on the other side. Goes reverse on the baseline jumper and he connects from 15 feet away. Harrell cycles it around. Far wing left. John Tell Evans on the dribble. Splits two defenders. Now kicks it out to Harrell near wing right. So Farrakhan on the corner. Open look for three. And he knocks it down. Takes it a step in. Now he's going to let it fly from just inside the arc. And that was misses short. It was a contested shot. Carolina looks to run. Here's the pass to Barnes. Barnes puts up a tough shot from the elbow on the right side. 
Joe Harris will take the inbound pass. Pulls up just inside the arc, and he knocks down a 17-foot jumper. Good-looking shot from Joe Harris. Our heels working it around on the outside. It's in the hands of the true freshman, Marshall. Dribbles behind the back. Pulls up from 15 feet away. He missed it off the, off the, off the uh, side end of the rim, but Strickland does a tremendous job. When you play a Carolina or a Duke, you know there's going to be a big crowd, and it's what you – it's what you – why you make that decision to come here and I just told him I said make the most of it and we talked about just going out there without fear and not having any regrets and I thought they they came out for the most part got all those some silly turnovers early but uh, I think they're they're character young men and they'll grow from it and you can't not the experience is the best teacher and, I, and we're getting <laughs> a lot of it you can definitely get him involved and get some open shots KT Harrell takes a cross court pass uncorks a three pointer from the near wing right and he drills it KT puts Virginia ahead by two. Quickly on the other side. Shot off the mark. Justin Watts couldn't connect. Virginia has a rebound going the other way. Harrell thought about another three. Pump fakes. Now he pulls up. 17-foot jumper is pure. KT on a 5-0 run of his own. Virginia on a 13-0 run. Timeout North Carolina. Team arrives. It's in the hands now. Justin Knox now off to Marshall. Marshall down the lane. Shot rejected by Hassan Now he's working with just seven seconds to shoot. Mustafa on the far wing right. Got to get rid of it. Gives over to Evans. Three seconds to shoot. Chantel fires one up from long range. And he rattles it home. They did a better job defensively against us. We missed a few easy ones. We looked a little a little tired. We were riding those guys hard. I, they played so hard effort-wise and defensively. We had trouble. The board's much stronger than before. Here's a three-pointer. Will Sherrill cans it. He had his foot on the line, they'll say, but a big-time shot from Will Sherrill has put Virginia ahead by five again. Here's a pass out to Drew. Drew's at the top of the arc. Pass comes out. Now to Henson. Henson drives down the lane. No one back to the front, and he'll lay it in with the left hand. John Tell Evans throws on the Jets, takes it down the lane, scoops to the hoop, and lays it in with a left hand off the window. Tar Heels into the front court. Strickland dribbles with the right hand. Gets past Farrakhan, now drives the lane, dishes off. Zeller blocked by Harris. He comes away with a loose ball. Chance to make it a one-point game or tie it with a three-pointer. 45 seconds to go now. John Tell Evans into the front court, dribbles with the right hand, races by his man again, lays it off the window and good. Oh, John Tell Evans, back-to-back -back layups. It's a one-point game with 37.8 seconds to go. Got a decent look. I think, you know, it wasn't. Joe just passed it up, and, and he'll learn from that. I don't think that'll happen again. It was an option to get him a look, and then if not, we had a, a, a ball screen action coming out of it, and we've used that before. Obviously, I wish I would have shot the ball. I mean, he was up tight a, a little bit on me, but I still had a, a open enough look for where I should have shot it, and I don't know. It's just one of those ones where I, I regret like not taking the shot in that position. I should have, I don't know, Coach drew it up for me, had the confidence in me. I should have taken the shot. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health Systems. This week, our women's basketball team faced in-state rival Richmond before opening up their ACC schedule against Miami. Let's check out the highlights. We're learning, and you can see that we're learning, and we're getting really good consistency from a lot of our kids. And I'm just really pleased with the fact that it might be a different player each night, and I think that kind of drives the fans crazy, but... I think it's kind of fun, you know, I mean, it's a great way to coach and, you know, different players are stepping up. It's, it's all about what the defense gives you, and I think our team has really become very intelligent about what the defense is giving them. Whitney's got ice water in her veins. She, nothing really bothers her, but I think she likes this role of coming off the bench and being able to give us whatever we need. If it's offense she, we need, she gives us that. If it's defense we need, she gives us that. The shine and outlets to more. more. Down the lane in transition, coast to coast, laid it in off the window with the right hand. The one great thing about Ari tonight was she stayed on balance when she went to the basket. And because a lot of times if you're off balance, the officials won't call it. So, you know, I reminded her to stay on balance and she did a great job of that. And it was tough for, it was tough for them because they had trouble guarding her the whole game. Her pal with the top of the key and she'll swing it right wing to shells. One dribble pull up right wing, uh-oh. She's starting to warm up and she knocks down another jumper. They got a run of like nine points and that was really what put us in a bad way and we had to find a way to stop them and they got it all the way down to two and I just was really proud of my team being able to push it back up again and I thought that we had a lineup in there that was really good defensively and they did a good job of making sure that 
we made it the way we needed it to be. And we also scored, and that was important. Lob for Egwu on the right block. Little step through move. Missed it off the window. Rebound Gerson up high to get it. She'll lay it in with the follow. Sometimes it's not about who's hot and who's not. Sometimes it's about who's defending and who's really looking good in terms of the, the whole picture. But I needed to get Lexi back in, and I think she did a good job finishing the game for us. I think we learned a lot from the JMU game. That was a tough game for us, and it was a heartbreaker, and I just think that our players really learned a lot from that, and they weren't going to let it get away. And I think that we had some players step up, and instead of getting nervous, we put the hammer down. And that, that was a big difference in our poise and our composure as we went toward that last three minutes of the game. They had to foul us, and that was that. Nine, the jump from the left baseline is short. Rebound a tear. Franklin glides in and lays it in off one bounce. Franklin on the left baseline. A little drive move up and under and laid it in off the window with the right hand. 6-2 Virginia. 24% three-point shooter showed it there. Here's Moore back in transition. She'll kick it right baseline. Tell a little shot. Big drive baseline. Laid it in with the left hand off the window. I thought we had a great start to the game. You know, we got a little lead, and I know they scored primarily in transition in the first five minutes of the game, and then we settled down and, and kept them from doing that, and then um, got a little bit of separation. Uh, we weren't able to sustain it when we substituted as much as we had to with Simone in foul trouble and just having to get people rested. Williams runs over Franklin. She'll reverse it to McCall in the middle of the floor. She'll swipe through and swing it right wing to Moore, and Miami in the shorts. They saw it back to Franklin for three at the top of the key, and Bingo. the freshman delivers. She separated herself very early with her maturity level and her ability to show what kind of heart and desire she has to be a very good player. She shows it every day in practice. I've not seen her have a bad practice, and I've actually seen her go two weeks before we knew that she had mono during conditioning, still winning races with mono, winning races, winning, winning races. So that in itself kind of told me what kind of what kind of person she was and I it just seems like now we can't play without her. She just told me keep defending and then we'll add things to your game as we go on. So um, my comfort level has increased and I mean I'm still trying to improve and I just know I still have to keep defending. Johnson moving left to right, gliding up the floor. Johnson, a little jump stop on the left baseline, got cut off. We'll kick it to Raquana Williams for three. Drills it, left sideline. Ederson had a pit to box from behind. Here's Moore. She's got a run out against Saunders. Moore challenges Saunders. Yeah. Lay it in and a foul. Well, you have to give Miami credit. They played a great game tonight. They're very talented, and, you know, we knew that. But I thought we matched pretty much the scoring and where we fell short was on the free throw line and that's really not something that should be an issue for us. Coming up after the break. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. He was a fan favorite when he played for Virginia, and as we see in our next feature, assistant coach Jason Williford still believes orange and blue. Come on, Mike, get him open. One with the house. Good, 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 good. I got to go quick, move. He's so well liked at this university that he brings an element that you can't have unless someone has attended this institution and understands the ins and outs of what a degree means from Virginia and what it was like when Virginia was really rolling back in the, the mid to early 90s. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move in, move in. Come on, come on. He's so competitive. He's so tough. He's excellent working with our bigger guys. Has a defensive mindset. He loves the defensive side of the ball. I bleed orange and blue. And so that comes across, and they understand, hey, this coach has been there, he's done it, and he knows what it's all about, the, the rigors of going to class, uh, the rigors of ACC basketball, and he's been pretty successful. And I think my passion and my love for the university shines uh, when, I, when I talk about it to recruits and their parents.
Our 91 class was second to the Fab Five, Michigan's Fab Five, as far as recruiting goes. And we had a special run, won an NIT championship, climacted in a uh, Elite Eight run in 95, and it was a special time here at UVA for, for me and for all of those guys. And in fact, we all still today keep, keep in touch. He's rolling, they got a two-man game. He comes off, I duck in, I'm looking to score that right yeah. there. I like when the ball reverses. Yeah, don't follow the ball. Our blueprint is there are no shortcuts. We're going to work extremely hard defensively. We're going to take care of the basketball. And we're going to let guys who can make plays and, and offensively do some things with the ball, give them some freedom on that end. But we're going to take no shortcuts as far as how hard we work uh, in the off seasons and what we do in the classroom and how we conduct ourselves. Okay. Time for a New Year's resolution. If you haven't been to a game in the John Paul Jones Arena, then put that on your list and start during the week of January 16th. Our basketball teams are on the road until then, but if you're looking for some intense action, you can see our wrestling team grapple with NC State next Saturday in Mem Gym. We'll be back in seven days with another edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Sammy Zaglinski. Thanks for supporting the Cavaliers. And remember, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, the Virginia Lottery, and by UVA Health Systems.